The ARTE trial, the objective was to, uh, to evaluate, to compare dual versus single antiplatelet therapy uh, as, as antithrombotic treatment following TAVR. As you may know, uh, dual antiplatelet therapy is the recommendation in all guidelines, but this is an empirical recommendation. There are no studies as yet showing uh, superiority of uh, dual versus single antiplatelet therapy in these patients. Then when we designed the trial, which was a pilot uh, study, we try to, uh, to, uh, to get uh, objective data on what were the outcomes in, uh, in these two groups of patients, looking particularly at ischemic events, myocardial infarction and uh, stroke, death, and then bleeding events. Uh, in the design of the trial, the, uh, the primary endpoint was a combined endpoint, including death uh, MI, stroke or TIA, or major of, or life-threatening bleeding events. The design was a, uh, this was a prospective, randomized, multi-center, open-level uh, design study, a pilot study, and uh, we, uh, we used uh, uh, TAVR technology, but only balloon expandable valves. Sapien XT or uh, Sapien, uh, Sapien 3. And the patients included well all comers. The main exclusion criteria were uh, patients under chronic anticoagulation, uh, patients that were requiring dual antiplatelet therapy because of uh, co recent coronary stents, uh, drug looting stents, or patients with a major uh, pri prior bleeding. Otherwise, the patient could be uh, randomized, and the patients were uh, randomized to aspirin alone, low dose of aspirin alone, uh, or uh, aspirin plus clopidogrel, and they were randomized the day prior to the TAVR procedure. Aspirin was continued for at least six, six months, and clopidogrel, clopidogrel for three months. The primary endpoint was at a three-month follow-up. The main findings were that when we look at the primary endpoint, the combined endpoint in the dual antiplatelet uh, group tended to have more adverse events than the aspirin alone group. And this was mainly driven by a much higher rate of major or life-threatening bleeding events in this group. There were no differences. There were, the numbers were small, but there were no differences between groups in uh, the rates of myocardial infarction, stroke, or death. Yes, this was a small trial, 222 patients were, uh, were enrolled, a uh, pilot trial. Um, we used only one valve type. Uh, we don't know if the same results would apply to other valve platforms. And finally, there is a significant proportion of TABR patients that, uh, for whom this uh, uh, treatment would not apply, uh, patients who need chronic anticoagulation patients who require dual antiplatelet therapy for long term because of our drug looting stand. These are the main two groups that uh, do not apply to, uh, to, uh, to this study and for whom these results uh, do, do not apply. Uh, again, uh, my first word would be we have to be cautious because uh, there was an empirical estimation of the sample size, there was a small sample size, and this should be taken into account. But we don't have any other major trials in the field. This is when we look at dual versus single antiplatelet therapy, the largest trial in the field uh, up, to da up to date. Um, if we consider that the guidelines are based on empirical recommendations, no really uh, strong or uh, no evidence-based, I think that uh, this trial may help to, uh, to guide clinical practice and, and we may change our practice from uh, dual to single antiplatelet therapy while waiting the results uh, of a larger trial. I think that the, the important thing of this study is that it provided the the data for designing a good, uh, definite, large uh, trial in this field.
in the clinical research, uh, uh, I would say that, uh, uh, again, a larger trial is needed to establish a definite recommendation. I think that we have now the data that uh, would help us to design an appropriate uh, size, uh, size trial. And then, as you know, there are other trials in the, in the field trying to evaluate anticoagulation therapy uh, post-TAVR, basically to prevent bioprosthetic uh, thrombosis. I think that uh, we will see how these trials compare to, uh, to antiplatelet therapy. I think that they will be also very important.